In this session, we'll look at how to control Civil 3D labels at the drawing level, feature level, and individual style level. On my screen, I have a drawing that contains several Civil 3D components. I also have many labels. You can see I've got some point labels here. I've labeled an alignment. I've labeled some property. I've got some station offset labels. I have labeled a surface, and I have some parcel labels, among others. Let's say that I would like to edit a label style. I'm going to pan the drawing down and we'll zoom in on this point shot. This represents a surveyed ground shot. Maybe I'd like to edit the text style associated with this label. To do that, I'll need to know what label style is being used. I can find that by selecting the point, and then I'll come over to the properties palette. Right here, we can see it's using a point label style called GR Shots. I'm going to press escape to deselect. To edit that label style, we'll jump over to the settings tab. I will then expand the point category. I'll expand label styles. And then I'll right click on the label style name and choose edit. Now before I make any changes, let's take a quick look at some of the settings that we have in here. Notice they are organized into these tabs. On the general tab, we will find the general properties for the label style. Things like text style, visibility, layer, behavior, and plan readability. On the layout tab, we'll find properties that control the individual label style components. Here we'll find settings for the text height, rotation angle, color, and border properties. On the Dragged State tab, we will find properties that are applicable to the Dragged State. Here we can see settings that control the leader, as well as the dragged text. In this case, I'd like to change the text style, so I'll jump back to the General tab, and then I will click in the Text Style field, and I'll click the Ellipsis button. And then for this example, I'm going to choose this text style called C3D Labels. I'll click OK. We can see that change reflected in the preview, and if I click OK, we can see that change reflected on screen. Now, since I made that change at the individual style level, you can see it applies only to points that are using that label style. These points that are using other label styles are not affected. Knowing that, let's say that I'd like to use this same text style for all my point labels. In fact, let's go even farther. Maybe I'd like to assign this text style to every Civil 3D label, regardless of feature. To do that, I could manually adjust each and every label style in this drawing. I'm sure you would agree that would be very time consuming. Instead, I can make that label style change globally by assigning it at the drawing level. Let's start by undoing my previous change. I'm going to open the Undo menu, and we'll back up a couple steps here. Let me pan back down to that point, and then I'll do a quick regen to clean up the screen. Now, to make my global label style adjustment, I'm going to go to the Settings tab. We'll drag all the way up to the top, and then I'll right-click on the drawing name. From here, I'll choose Edit Label Style Defaults. In this dialog box are properties that apply to every label style in this drawing. Note the categories are very similar to what we saw at the individual style level. I can expand these by clicking the plus buttons. Likewise, if I click the expand button, I can expand all the categories. If I drag up and down, you can see the number of properties that are in here. From here, I can select a new text style by clicking in that field. I will then click the ellipsis button, and then I'll choose C3D Labels. I will then click OK and OK. We can see that new text style property is assigned to every label style in this drawing. Not only is it assigned to every existing label style, it will be the default for every new label style that I create. Knowing that, let's zoom back to this same point object where we started. And I'd like to make another edit to this original label style. Once again, we'll right click on GR Shots and I'll choose Edit. Here on the General tab, we can see the text style represents the property that's assigned at the drawing level. I can change this if I want. As an example, I'll click in the field, I'll click the ellipsis button, and I'll select the standard text style. I will then click OK and OK. Now that I've made that change, let's jump back to the drawing level settings. I'm going to right click on the drawing and choose Edit Label Style Defaults. Let's expand the properties. And if I look right here, I can see that the standard for this drawing says to use the C3D Labels text style. If I move over to the Child Override column, though, we'll find an arrow. This shows me that somebody at a lower level has overridden this setting. That's exactly what we did right there. To strip the override, I can click this arrow. In addition, if I select this padlock, I can lock the setting so that it cannot be changed at a lower level. Let's click OK. Notice the override has been removed. Let's come back and edit that individual label style one more time. In here, we can see the text style matches the property that was assigned at the drawing level. Notice that property is also locked, which prevents me from changing it. I'm going to click the X to close this dialog box. And then we'll zoom out a little bit. All right, knowing what we know now, let's say that I'd like to assign a new text height to all of my point labels. 
Well, I could do that by adjusting each individual style, but that would be time consuming. If I tried to make that change at the drawing level, it wouldn't be helpful because the text height would apply to every label style in this drawing. Since I'd like my changes to apply to a specific feature class only, I will make the label style changes at the feature level. On the settings tab, I'm going to right click on the point category, and from here I'll choose edit label style defaults. These properties apply to point label styles only. Let's expand the settings. I will then drag the slider down, and in the components group, I will change this from point 0.1 to point 0.04, and I'll press enter. Typically these labels don't display on the construction drawings, so I can make them a little bit smaller on screen. I will then pull the slider down a little bit further because the dragged state also includes a text type. Let's set this to point 0.04. Note that when I make these changes, I am overriding the setting assigned at the drawing level. That's fine, that's exactly what I want to do. When I'm finished, I'll come down and click OK. And you can see that the new text height has been updated for the point label styles only. Not only is this change applied to the existing styles, the new text height also represents the default for any future point label styles that I may create in this drawing. So the next time you need to make adjustments to your Civil 3D label styles, remember that the changes can be made at the drawing level, feature level, or individual style level. Assigning style properties at a higher level can be the most efficient way to make changes when those changes apply to multiple styles. Would you like to explore other Autodesk infrastructure ideas and workflows? If so, please visit the Civil Immersion blog by scanning the QR code or by following the URL listed below.